Hello friends. In this video, it's going to be a really quick video, hopefully. If I can make it as quick as I'm hoping I can. Uh, just going to be a kind of a quick update and some little valves that I found uh, might help some of you out if you're looking into making any kind of pneumatic gun or really even anything pneumatic that you need this particular type of valve for. Um, <clears throat> so I will go over these couple of valve cores right now. These are all Schrader type valve cores. This one here, I'm going to try and get a good image of this hopefully. This is a standard Schrader valve core. This is the kind that you'd find in like a car tire, a bike tire, motorcycle tire, uh, anything like that. And the way that these work is really simple. Hopefully I can show you kind of how this is working here. So you'll be able to see this. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to very well. Alright, so the way that this works is this pin here pushes in. This one has an internal spring and what happens here is when it gets pushed in this bottom part unseats and air is able to escape through a really small hole and come out in between uh, the part that you use to screw the valve in up top here. So that's a standard one. This one is a 8 millimeter. it's actually the thread pitch is 8x1 um, high flow valve core and it's substantially bigger. This one has an external spring on it, but it works exactly the same. When this gets pushed in, the bottom of it opens up, and it opens up a pretty massive hole, uh, and then the air comes out the top once again, just like in the, the smaller version. Um, <clears throat> I don't know the exact math on it, but I know that uh, a circle for every you know, if it's, if, let's say this one's, you know, one millimeter and this one's three millimeters, for every two times the diameter is it, it, like ten times the flow or something. So even between this small one and this medium sized one, the flow increase is very substantial. And I've actually tested it out. And this thing flows, for how small it is, it flows quite a bit of air pretty quickly. Um, this is the biggest one I was able to find. I should mention that both these brass ones are out of AC systems. I believe this one is a high side for charging at the factory and this one is a low side for uh, like d diagnostics and uh, having to recharge and pull vacuums and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I found these at a local auto parts store, weirdly, weirdly enough had these. You can find them on eBay though. Um, Granger and Fastenal probably have them as well. Um, but yeah, and then this is the largest one. This is an M10 by something really, really fine. I honestly don't know what the threads are for this, and so I probably won't be able to use it until I can figure out what these threads are. I'm guessing it's probably M10 by .50 or .70. If anyone knows what threads these are for this large 10 millimeter Schrader valve core, let me know. Um, but anyway. This is the last one that I have, and this one opens up about a quarter inch size hole, which is just massive. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to be using probably this middle one for, uh, because I have, I, I'm able to tap threads for this, being standard M8 by one. What they're going to be used in is my new multi-shot valve body, and this is a piece of aluminum I've been working on on the lathe. I've got uh, 3 8 inch NPT threads tapped on this side. I've got a tapered hole and the valve will be sitting up inside there. So what I still need to do is I need to drill a hole all the way through this up to here, thread it to put the valve inside here, and then I got a couple other little secrets which I'll be doing to this valve um, to make it perform the way I want to and if I can accomplish what I'm hoping to do, then I'll have a, I'll put a video of that up and, and show kind of how I made this valve and, and its action. But um, like I said, just a quick overview of some, some valves that honestly I didn't know were out there until I did some searching. Um, so hopefully this helps someone out if you're looking for some high flow <clears throat> valves of this type. 
So, yeah, just like I said, quick teaser video of some valves and my valve body that I'm working on. So, stay tuned, and I should have some more goodies up here in the next couple of days once I hopefully get this valve uh, body working the way I want it to. So, stay tuned for that. Hope you're all having a good one. Take care.